This is the case of Aspen. Aspen is a 12-year-old female spade golden retriever that was presented for straining to defecate, as well as the appearance of small flat stools. An intrapelvic mass was noted by the referring veterinarian during physical examination. Aspen was then referred for further workup, such as an ultrasound of the abdomen. On physical exam, a large mass was palpated in the rectal region on digital exam, and the owners were offered either an ultrasound of the abdomen or a CT examination of the caudal pelvic region. We also recommended thoracic radiographs, or if CT was elected by the owners, to do a spiral CT of the thorax at the same time. Our differentials for the pelvic mass include a rectal or colonic wall lyomyosarcoma, lymphosarcoma, or possibly hemangiosarcoma. A CT of the pelvic outlet region was performed, and at the same time, a spiral CT of the thorax was also performed. These are video clips showing a pre-contrast exam and post-contrast examination of the caudal pelvic region in the area of the mass lesion. On this static image of the caudal abdominal region, the sublumbar lymph nodes are present and are symmetrical in shape and size. There is contrast enhancement of the external iliac vessels and median sacral artery seen between the sublumbar lymph nodes. Also note, just ventral to this region is the urinary bladder as well as a partially fecal-filled normal diameter colon. This is a static image at the level of the intrapelvic mass. The intrapelvic mass is seen here shaded in green, and the yellow shaded colon can be seen ventral to this region and also severely compressed. The mass demonstrates little if any contrast enhancement, is round and has relatively well-defined margins even where it joins the compressed colon. The colon itself is minimally distended with gas and feces at this level. Cutting slightly more caudal, we can see normal anal glands on either side of the rectum. The large colonic wall mass measures approximately 4.3 centimeters in diameter. These are sagittal and coronal reconstructed images of the caudal pelvic region showing the mass lesion. Note that a gas-filled rectum can be seen cranial and caudal to this region. The spiral CT of the thorax was also performed. No evidence of nodular lung disease or evidence of lymphadenopathy was seen on the spiral CT of the thorax. In Aspen's case, a lyomyosarcoma was confirmed associated with the colonic slash rectal wall. Palliative radiation therapy was chosen and the mass decreased in size and Aspen did extremely well for approximately one and a half years. At this time, Aspen's condition began to decline and the owners elected euthanasia.